Surprise Comics. What's up, guys? Make sure to give me a follow over on Whatnot. We are going live uh, at least a couple times a week now with all kinds of awesome stuff, raw books, slabs, discounts, deals. Uh, we are definitely still catching our stride over there, so there are a lot of good deals to be had. Link down in the description for how to find me on Whatnot and get $10 towards your first purchase over there. We also do a monthly giveaway on this channel. If you subscribe, comment, and like this video, you're entered to win a free slab. And if you head over to BryceComics.com and sign up for the newsletter, you're entered to win a separate giveaway for a free slab. Lots of awesome stuff over at BryceComics.com. If you use code COLLECT10, get 10% off the already low prices. So shout out to a subscriber, Darren G, for the idea for this video. It came at a perfect time because we are certainly feeling the effects of the economy recession in the comic book market. And I definitely want to do a market update video about about everything that's going on in the market, but I kind of want to wait until things shake out a little bit, really gather my thoughts and see how I want to frame and round that video out because there are so many different things to consider. What is causing the recession? What could potentially cause uh, the end of the recession? What could cause it to bounce back? What are some good books to be buying during a recession? Should you be buying books? Should you be selling books? Um, there's tons of different stuff to consider. How much of a recession is it? So stay tuned for that video. Uh, I definitely will be dropping that in the near future. Um, but one of the things that will definitely be covered in that video is what are the best types of books to purchase? And I already know that one of the best types of books to purchase uh, in a recession are going to be classic covers. And especially classic covers that don't have a ton of spec behind them, right? Like it's not about a first appearance of a character. It's not about them showing up in a movie or a TV show that could cause wild swings in prices that are exaggerated during a recession. It's just a classic cover that's collectible on that front alone. And you see a nice even keel for increases in prices and steady gains for those books over time. And so for this list, I wanted to pick a combination of classic covers that are kind of under the radar and that are super affordable. So you get the best of both worlds and a really awesome set of books. And with that said, let's jump into the computer and take a look at this list. So first up, we have Superman Adventures number 21. It's not super Supergirl Adventures. It, the actual title of this of this series is Superman Adventures number 21. It's just a classic, awesome Supergirl cover by Bruce Tim. So this is an example of one of those that you don't need crazy, you know, artwork and all kinds of stuff going on to have an iconic cover. In fact, a lot of these iconic covers are super simple in design. A lot of them have this, you know, really basic moon circle in the background. It's kind of a recurring theme in classic covers. And this is a book you can pick up for around, uh, you know, anywhere from 10 to 25, $30. This is actually a newsstand edition. There's a newsstand out there with just a regular barcode uh, versus the direct edition. The direct edition says the actual word direct sales here. And the newsstand is just a barcode right here. Um, and here's a little tip as well. I would probably stick with raw copies for this because you can get nice raw copies for around $25, $30, $40 for this book. And the graded copies, you know, are going for much more than that 9.8 around 350 or so. Um, but here's a little tip. If you ever find a listing on eBay by my comic shop, here you can see my comic shop is selling this for $385. Just hop over to their website and you can get the exact same book for about 12% less. So what they do is they take their listings from their website, push them to eBay and add the 12% eBay fees to that. And so you can, if you ever find my comic shop on eBay, just go to their website uh, and there's no reason to pay the extra 12% on eBay for their listings. All right, next up we have Batman number 612, uh, The Battle of Batman versus Superman. It's also the debut of Batman's kryptonite ring used to level the playing field when fighting Superman. And you just get this classic Jim Lee cover, such an awesome cover. And if we go over to eBay, we can see that raw copies are selling around 30, uh, around $30. You can get 9.6 for around 41. I think 9.8s go for uh, just over 100 bucks. Affordable book. There's also a couple different options. There's a second printing sketch cover, which it, sometimes sketch covers actually look really, really cool um, and definitely work. But other times I prefer just the original 
version because of the color. And this is one of the instances where I, I definitely prefer just the regular color version of this book. And keeping with the Batman theme, next up we have Batman number 241, classic Neil Adams cover, another example of Batman and just a really good use of the cape. And there we have that, you know, simple moon in the background that uh, is so prevalent in these iconic covers. If we hop over to eBay, you can see that you can find, you know, a really nice presenting copy for around 40 or $50. Of course, when you get up into those uh, higher uh, grades, it, it can get quite pricey. This is a, a 52 page book, so it's a square bound book, which is more difficult to get in high grades. So uh, as you can see, when we get into the, the higher grades, it does get quite pricey, but you can pick up a really good presenting copy for around uh, $50 raw now let's get into some marvel we have secret wars number 10. have you ever seen a doom cover that's quite like this this is a, an awesome mike zach cover it's just part 10 of the secret war story arc from the 1980s and i've just never seen a doom cover quite like this you have him front and center center there Doom, obviously, with so much potential in the MCU uh, and such a collectible character on cover art alone. If we go to eBay, you can see that uh, graded copies are selling for around 240 for the 9.8, but you can get raw copies for around the 10 to $20 mark all day long. Um, and one thing that's interesting about this is there's a newsstand edition and a Canadian price variant. The Canadian price variant is the most rare um, and newsstands are rare as well. And if we look at the solds for the CGCs, there I don't see a single newsstand or Canadian price variant. We have direct, 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 not a single newsstand uh, sold and it's definitely definitely more rare be careful buying a high high grade copy of uh, look there you can see a 9.8 sold for 167 dollars so there's definitely good deals to be had be careful shelling out a ton of dough for a newsstand i would almost recommend just keeping your eyes peeled and seeing if you can uh, find one at auction or snag a nice raw copy and get it graded yourself. Next up is a book you've probably seen before. We have Marvel Age number 90. And Marvel Age is a really cool series from Marvel. It's not technically a fanzine because it is actually produced and released by Marvel, but it's not your typical comic book either where it just has, you know, uh, comic book stories and art. It, it has other stuff like previews and news announcements and um, all kinds of different cool stuff related to comic books. And they always have really cool covers. And this one's no exception. Todd McFarlane cover, classic Spider-Man cover. In this one, it has some really interesting sales data here. On June 5th, somebody took a best offer for 375 for a 9.8. And then the same day, one sold for 500. And then the next day, one sold for 525. So there's definitely good deals to be had and look here you can this uh, newsstand copy obviously it's low grade but even sold for two dollars and 26 cents so raw copies are super affordable uh, for this book next up we have electra assassin number one with this classic bill sinkevich cover art there is a whole bunch of collectors that love to collect everything bill sinkevich um, and what i love about this cover is just the exaggerated gun how she's holding it there with just one hand and the way she's uh, looking back like that it's just an awesome cover definitely undervalued in my opinion because it's the first solo titled limited series featuring electra and if you guys have been paying attention to her first appearance in the daredevil run it is getting super pricey for that book um, we also have the origin electra in this book and the first appearance of the beast of the hand and if we hop over to ebay we can see that raw copies all day around five to ten dollars for this book and graded 9.8 copies selling consistently for a hundred bucks next up we have strange adventures number 207 this is a book that i am surprised that it wasn't on my radar sooner it's a neil adams cover uh, and it's the third appearance of dead 
man. Um, this cover also got uh, won an award in 1967, which is the year that it came out for best cover of 1967. So it's got two things going for it, the potential of Dead Man and uh, the ongoing future potential of just all classic Neil Adams covers. There was a rumor that there's a, dead, a possible Dead Man hosting an anthology style HBO horror series similar to Tales from the Crypt. So we could see some action for Dead Man and um, even if we don't, this will go down in history as a classic cover and will be collectible on that front alone. If we head over to eBay, we see that you can get a VF copy for around 40 or 50 bucks. And what I would go for on this book, if I was picking it up for my collection, would be the colors. They're such rich, deep greens and reds that I would almost prefer, you know, deep, dark greens and reds versus a higher grade. So if I had my choice between something that presented well because of the colors versus a higher grade, I would go with the colors on this one. And I think they're just so important to how this book presents. So that does it for this list. Don't forget to follow me over on Whatnot. Link in the description and check out uh, all the new inventory over at BriceComics.com. Use code COLLECT10 for 10% off. Constantly adding new stuff, new collections coming in. If you sign up for the newsletter at BriceComics.com, you're entered to win that free slab and it's the best way to get first access to new stock that comes in and if you subscribe to the channel comment on this video and like this video you enter to win a free slab as over here as well as always thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of the video and we'll catch you in the next one bye Bryce comics